Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? I'm gonna share this this background pattern right in Figma. You can see it has some wavy opacity changes and so much more. Very interesting concept. And I made it on Twitter. Like it blew up to seven hundred and forty likes. Like it's crazy on my viral post. And I was really surprised too. And um yeah, let me just show you how it works and how to do it. Let's get into it. So firstly, you have to get a pattern. It's a lot of changes, but let me just break it down to you how I make patterns generally. First, you need to start with the major shape, whether you want a circle or a square or a star, you need a small shape to start with. And then, when people ask me, I said I don't use any plugins, I, I created it from scratch because it's from scratch. Okay, so you can start by duplicating it and just like Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, and do the same thing over here. Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, and yeah, you have it. Yeah, simple, it's not hard, right? But on that way, you can do is also like get this circle. Sorry, let's, let's duplicate. Let's get a circle and just con hero, pattern hero. What this does is makes a row 20, 20 rows, 20 columns, pattern of four. You can make it five if you want. And yeah, it groups it for you. And voila, it's done already. So you can either do this or you do this. This is anything plugin we're going to use to save our time by duplication. Um, aside that, then you what i'd like to do is give shift a and we just adjust the, the spacing and all as i want to most times this is not enough for a hero section so let me show you an hero section is mostly desktop 114 by 40 so you put this here you can see it's not enough you still want more so what i do then is to duplicate it duplicate 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 and hopefully when you duplicate more it just it just get big enough that it works that's the idea i want to portray here so you still want to make it some more yep yeah you just want to use to fill the whole stuff that's the major point bring the pattern again and from there you can just like duplicate to i just need three more duplicates yeah and that's it it has filled the whole shape 40 40 cool what next you do now is to change the opacity right now we can use fill of white now everything is white but this is not enough because we want it to be we can look at the original one you want we want it to have opacity changes so what we can do about that is to come over here and just select it select the whole thing press enter select the whole thing and then there's a new plugin i use called um random random picker this was developed by ogus this guy on twitter badass designer very good so ogus on twitter he's not you know like he's going to pick the circles randomly and you're going to choose how many percent of the circles you want to pick so 70 percent and this picks everything you can just reduce opacity of 70 percent to like maybe 20 20 percent then again you try it again enter random picker again you can see if it's 50 percent so my guy first building can take some of them up to 45 40 is it you're just eyeballing it there's no there's no hard and fast rule for this and um again you go back this already works already but you can go back again and like this um minor picker you can see 35 percent and now you have different colors and make different shades you know you can make some a bit brighter some a bit darker or not and like this and um you see, so it's, there's no really rule. We just keep trying. It looks very random. Like, okay, man cannot do this on his own. He has to use a plugin. So yeah, this is the main thing. Also comes from scratch. You just keep doing it again and again and again. It looks very random. But yeah, if you can see, let me change this to dark, dark color. As you can see, this looks great. But it's not enough to look like this. What did I do to get this radial pattern at the back? And that's what I'm going to show you now. It's quite interesting. What I use is the under shape. So I get a shape like a circle. Um so a circle here. What that circle does is to I'm gonna give it a radial um radial radial what's it called? Radial blow. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is to give it multiple stops. Multiple stops. And the idea of this multiple stops is to have it have opacity on some areas. So I'm going to use circle as a max, but you're not going to understand what I'm doing yet. So let me show you an example. Around that circle, duplicate it. This one to duplicate. 
Just break down what how masks work for you. And if you notice this, let's move this all the way. Let's say this one is zero. And then if I bring this across the max for this and take it all the way down. Let's say this pattern, I'm going to give it control E to make it um um a vector. So objects and circles. And then I s I'm get this two and I give it a mask. You can see how that it's at the end, towards the end. So if you can take this. You notice that towards the ending, when it comes to the edge of the circle, it's the opacity changes a bit. So this here is what the max does. And if you don't want that, what you cannot do is to go to the circle mask V, and then you cannot adjust the mask. Let's say you want the opacity to come down here or here, it depends on what you want. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to duplicate this thing, get more of it. I'm becoming all the way here. So in some parts, I'll have 100. In some parts, I'll have 100 again. In some parts, I'll have 0 completely. So you can see, when you give it 0, you can see it, it has this sphere 3D feel. And that's what I'm going to do. So that's what I'm going to keep doing. Over here. I'll come over here a bit. and give it 100 again. Over here again. I'll give it 100. Over here again. I'll give it under 100. And so this one will be under zero. You can see. So that's a trick I learned recently, and I feel like this is a good way to do it. So you can also come over here if you want to have space. You can go this one under. You can see it gives a space between it, and that you keep doing. Um, hundred, hundred, zero. You see, then another one again. Hundred. Then zero, we can give another hundred. Very normal you want. Voila, you can see this gives a style that we never seen before. And then you just bring it over here, and you kind of like. And since it's flattened, you can't really select these vectors. They are all shapes now. That's the word. Yeah. Um, do this. I can scale it up, and use it as a pattern in your design or something. You can make it up here. So now this way you can use blending modes. For example, let's say this background is duplicate background, and let's say this background is red. You can see it looks doesn't look so bad with red. If you change the blending mode to something else, you can see it, it reacts differently. Plus lighter, dodge overlay, um, hard lights, exclusion, different reactions, and this would make different patterns that will, might work well with your design. Um, yeah. So if you break down this file. So if you watch the end of this video, depending on where you watch it from, I'm gonna leave the link to this file in the description below so you can tweak it and try and see what I did behind the scenes of this design. If you notice over here, there's a pattern here. If I remove the pattern, see it's no longer there. Without the pattern, it makes it feels a lot bland, but it still looks fine. I had pattern, I had glues, I had so much things. It's a lot of things I added here. So, yep, that's how to do it. It's not really that hard. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, and there, there's so much other ways you can do this pattern stuff. I think I should make another. Let me just show you a quick, a quick hack again. So, let's say you have another pattern, let's say you have a frame, the frame is 400. So, call this pattern maker. Pattern maker, well, this I learned from Fonz Man, and this one you can just like add a shape here. No, you can even give it a grid. A yeah, grid. Hmm. Grid. And is it this? And it's like this. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't know what I'm doing. But I just take two pixels separately. I think once to make this to come out the way here. Yeah. They're the same size, 160, 160. So yeah, that doesn't make sense. What am I doing? I want to show you something cool, but I forgot what, what it was. Um, yeah, the idea is that you can have like a pattern. Yeah, so you can have another pattern. You can have another shape here. Yeah. Like it's like a smaller shape.
and can have under smaller shape over here as well. So this one, this one gets a little bit bigger. And this one gets a bit smaller. And this one gets a bit bigger again. But I just wanted to make sure that it's in 32. The space between everything is 32. <sighs> because what we're trying to do now, we have to get the calculations right. 32. 32. Now what this does is that it's a, a we just remove remove the this is here. I make it an a, a component and I bring it out here. And I just bring this here like this. Bring here like this. Here like this. It's like the pattern maker trick, but this time around we are using components. And you can see if you just keep yes you now con copy as a PNG and let's say you paste it here and then you can give it style. So what this does is that you keep spreading it and you can see you have more patterns you can try out with. And then with the same pattern trick of the ellipse being here, so you can bring ellipse over here. Bring the ellipse over here. Um Hmm, where was it? I thought I duplicated it just now. Okay, so bring it over here. And, um, you see, these are just like, bring it, just take it to the back and just align the center and then max it. And you can see, it's a new style. And voila, you've done a new style again. So I feel like don't be limited to what I did in the past. Just try things out, recreate, redo, re redesign, and now you can have a new pattern in your design. Um. Yeah, let me. Yeah, let's bring it down here. So you see, that's why I said that you don't always have to like use a pattern plugin. Honestly, I didn't put up plugin for this, and so I've done it way way faster. So, so the different ways to do this thing is not so hard. And V, you can see different blending modes can just give it a different feel. Yeah, and you can reduce the opacity as well. And you can duplicate them as well too. Duplicate. When the effect you want to go for, then you just keep trying things out. Yeah, so that's it. Um, if you like this. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate that so much. And um, if you go my Twitter and you retweet it on my Twitter, please retweet. I'm gonna make a positive tweet that. If you retweet it, I'll send you the design file, maybe or something. I don't know. Please, I just want it to go viral again. I like it. I want people to see it. I want people to know how to do this thing. I want people to explore more. Figma, Figma is amazing. Yeah. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.